The Magic Mask tool in DaVinci Resolve is a super powerful feature that'll let you do incredible things really, really quickly, including cloning yourself, which just so happens to be what we're talking about today. I'm sorry, can I help you? Yep, I just wanted to remind you that I hate you and your videos are stupid. Also, it's your turn to take out the trash. Yep, yeah, I'm done. It's officially time for my very first DaVinci Resolve 17 tutorial. Yay! Today we're looking at Magic Mask. More specifically, we're looking at how to use the Magic Mask tool in DaVinci Resolve 17 in order to clone ourselves. This effect is really easy if you set it up right. Let's look at how to do that, starting with the filming process. When you're filming your scene, you want to shoot everything on the same video clip. Make sure your camera is locked off on a tripod so it doesn't move between takes and don't let the camera stop rolling. That way, you can color grade everything together so it looks natural once you cut up the footage and do your masking. Cool? Let's start editing. Your first step is to set up your project. Now, how you set it up is 100% up to you with one exception. Do not, I repeat, do not use a master timeline. If you use a master timeline, then you'll end up creating the mask on the entire source clip and nothing will work. Other than that, set up your project however you want. After you have your project set up, go ahead and bring your main clip into the timeline, start cutting up your different parts and lining them up. Now, there are a couple things to keep in mind here. First, you wanna make sure that all your talking parts are lined up in a way that makes the conversation sound natural. One of the easiest ways to do that is to set markers at all of the interaction points on both clips and then line up those markers in the timeline. Also, you want to make sure that the clip that you're going to be masking is on the top track. For example, I'm going to be masking my clone, so that clip is on track two, and the clip of me talking about Magic Mask is on track one. Okay, so I've already graded and done the audio for my clip. Let's just jump into the color page and get started with Magic Mask. The first thing we need to do is add a serial node at the end of our node tree. So I'll just click Alt S to do that. The next thing we need to do is add an alpha output. This will get rid of everything on the outside of our mask once we make it. To add an alpha output, just right click, choose add alpha output, and then click and drag between the blue box on the node we just added and the blue dot over here. Next, make sure that you have that new node selected and then click on the icon that looks like a rectangle with a person in it. That'll take us to the magic mask tool. So there are a few steps to creating a magic mask. First, make sure that the eyedropper icon with the plus sign is selected. Then click the toggle mask overlay, which is the icon with the two squares. Then simply go up to the playback monitor, click on your subject and draw a line. And now you can see that there is a mask around me, but it's not exactly perfect. To fix this, come down into your magic mask settings and click on better. Next thing we're gonna do is click this play button, which isn't actually a play button. It's actually the track forward button. This will track our mask to make sure that it stays on our subject throughout the whole clip. Now, while that's tracking, let's talk a little bit about your mask. Sometimes the mask will slip off part of your subject in different parts of your clip. How well your mask tracks depends on a few factors, but it mostly has to do with movement. If the person or animal you're tracking is moving around a lot, you're more likely to lose the mask. Luckily, you can create more than one stroke in the magic mask tool. So if you do lose the mask, you just need to go to that point, create a new stroke and track that. When I was first practicing this, I ended up with something like 14 strokes in a single clip. It was insane. This time around, I made sure to have as little movement as possible when I was filming. So the key takeaways here are one, review the results of the tracking and two, set yourself up for as easy of a job as possible by limiting the movement of both your subject and your camera. Cool, let's jump back into Resolve. So now we've successfully created our mask. I don't need to add any additional strokes so we can move on to the next step. If we look at our clone, he looks a little unnatural, right? Those edges are way too sharp. So to fix that, let's go back into our magic mask settings and drag to the right on the blur radius slider. And now we've got a perfect clone and we didn't have to do any tracing or use power windows or anything like that. 
Pretty cool, right? Now, the downside to this whole process is that Magic Mask is only available in the studio version of DaVinci Resolve 17. The good news is that there's a super easy way to clone yourself in the free version as well. I'll link that down below, but if you wanna have a chance at winning a free license of DaVinci Resolve Studio so you can try Magic Mask for yourself, I'm running a giveaway on my channel, and as of the day this video was published, you still have about three days to enter. So to learn more about that, click here here. And for more tools, tips, and tricks that'll make you a better video editor, make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit that bell so you don't miss anything. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.